Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In a uh, world of euphemisms that we live in here with uh, below trend growth and a modest increase in unemployment, I'm wondering if I could ask you a couple of direct questions for the American people. Uh, do the odds now favor, given where you are and where you're going with interest rates, favor a recession? 4.4% um, unemployment is about 1.3 million jobs. Is that acceptable job loss? And then given that the data you look at is backward looking and the lags in your policy are forward looking and you don't know what they are, how will you know or will you know if you've gone too far? So I, I, don't, um, I don't know what the odds are. I think that, that there's a very high likelihood that we'll have uh, a period of what I've mentioned is below trend growth, by which I mean much lower growth, and we're seeing that now. So the median forecast, I think, this year for uh, among my colleagues and, and me was 0.2 percent growth. So that's, that's very slow growth. And, and then below trend next year, I think the median was 1.2, also well below. So that's a slower uh, that's, a, that's a very slow level of growth, and it could give rise to increases in unemployment. But I think that's – so that is something that, that we think we need to have, and we think we need to have softer labor market conditions as well. Um, you know, we're never going to say that there, that there are too many people working, but the, the real point is this. Um, inflation – what we hear from people when we meet with them is that, that they really are suffering from inflation. And – if we want to set ourselves up, really, really light the way to another period of a very strong labor market, we have got to get inflation behind us. I wish there were a painless way to do that. There isn't. So what we need to do is get rates up to, to the point where we're play, putting meaningful downward pressure on inflation, and that's what we're, that's what we're doing. And um, we, we don't, certainly don't, don't hope we, – we, we certainly haven't given up the idea – that we can have a relatively modest increase in, in unemployment. Nonetheless, we need to complete this task. But how will you know, or will you know, if you've gone too far? It's hard to, hard to hypothetically uh, deal with that question. I mean, our, again, our, our, our really tight focus now continues to be ongoing rate increases to get the policy rate up, up where it needs to be. And, and as I said, you can look at, the, look at this SEP as – Today's estimate of where we think those rates would be, of course, they will evolve over time. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.